Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with EC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how to wire a boiler, air handler, outdoor condenser, and thermostat all together. Now later on in this video, I'm going to have a wiring diagram so you can take a look at that as well. So what we have is our contactor represents our outdoor AC unit. So we usually have two wires heading out to our outdoor AC unit. And this right here is a board out of an air handler. Now you may have just uh, wires in your air handler that, that you're connecting to instead of a board, and they will be denoted as R, Y, G, and C. Here's an aquastat out of a boiler, and we have wired onto it T, V, and T. So on this particular aquastat uh, control right here, you have T as the 24 volts heading out, and then the T, V is a signal uh, for the circulating pump in order to circulate hot water. You could have a board here or something else right here, uh, a different aquastat, so it may be T and T terminals, or it may be R and W terminals. And then here you have your, your thermostat sub-base. So coming out of the thermostat, we have two sets of wires. You have your, right here is a 18-6 wire, but we're only using four of the six wires, and that's heading to our indoor air handler. And then you have your other wire right here, that's an 18-3 wire, and you have two wires out of that that's being used out of the three. So this two wire is actually heading over to your aquastat controller. Now thermostats usually come with a little jumper between R and RC. The reason that we can control two separate units is because we pulled this jumper out. And when we pull that jumper out, R is going to be for heat. And then W is where it sends the voltage back to the aquastat. So basically you have T right here, your red wire, coming over to your R terminal. And then it connects in the thermostat to W and then it comes back out W over to TV and that's what's turning on your circulating pump. In reference to your air conditioning unit you have your R right here is your 24 volt power from your your indoor air handler and that's heading to the thermostat over to RC. When you're calling for cooling RC connects to G and Y and that ends up sending a 24 volt signal back in this green wire and yellow wire over to Y, Y2, and G. So G is going to tell your indoor air handler fan to turn on, where Y is going to say, okay, we are on our cooling airspeed. And you're going to also notice a second wire on Y and a second wire on C. They're heading over to the contactor. And that's turning the compressor on. Basically, you have a 24 volt coil here, and it sucks this down anytime you have 24 volts on Y. And C is always your path back. So Y, 24 volts, is coming over to your contactor, sucking in this contactor, and it's coming back through the common to the common side of the transformer. Same thing in the thermostat, where you have your 24 volts is coming from R. It gets connected to RC for your, for your air conditioner. And to, in order to power the, the thermostat face, it's going to go through the thermostat face and find its way back through the C and come back over to the control board on C or to the C on the transformer. And in this case, you see that the thermostat is off, and that's because there's no batteries in the back of this. So you want to make sure to always change the batteries at least once a year, or even more often than that, because if the batteries get weak, then the thermostat won't be able to work properly. But if you don't have either a C terminal in your thermostat or an extra wire to use for your C terminal, then you can just use batteries in order to power the thermostat. But if you want to hard power the thermostat, such as this right here, you just hook up your, your C wire to the thermostat and the C wire to the indoor unit. And if we wanted to just turn the fan on, we have our 24 volts heading in from the R to the thermostat on RC, and then it connects to G, and then it comes out of the thermostat and goes over to our G terminal on the control board. So that'll go ahead and turn the blower motor on. Now let's take a look at a wiring diagram that replicates the wiring right here. If you want to see another video on how to wire the air handler, heat pump, and thermostat, I have that link down in the description section below. If you want to see how to troubleshoot and how to wire the aquastat relay, I have that link down in the description below as well as some of the tools that I use out in the field. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.